Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, uh, May 11th, 2019. And I came out here about, I don't know, 5.15, because both the dogs were losing it and trying to figure out why they were barking so bad. And this was not like this. You're sitting on it. I can't even show it. Can you move? You gotta drop it. I'm not gonna play talk with you for it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. I told you I'm not playing tug. I will buy you that thing you want, but... Okay. Nope. Alright. Coop. Seriously. Anyway. This was not like this. And I got styrofoam everywhere. So, Samantha came out here and tore up April's um, gardening pad. <laughs> Which is just not cool. It's everywhere. So, I gotta clean that up, like, now. Before she decides that she's gonna eat it. Thank you for finally dropping it. Left-handed throw. Oh, at least I hit you in the face. Okay. So, um, I don't think there, well, I don't know if there's anything in the garden to show you. All I did yesterday was water, so, and honeydew is looking really good. I got a bunch of really small things I'm just going to try to get accomplished today, like this, um, fencing here. I never attached it the way I was going to, and I didn't realize that until I was cleaning up the shelves yesterday and found... Um, the metal I'm going to use to do that, so, and then, I know it's weird, we just got like random pieces of wood sitting around, but this was the end, end trunk of, or the root trunk of the big ironwood stump that we got out of the ground, and I actually had to trim it to fit it in the one box to use for horticulture. So I ended up cutting these two pieces of it off and April wants to play around with this one to um, try and create, I think she said like a horn type sculpture and I am going to do something with this one but I have not figured it out yet. It's really cool. I almost feel like it needs a third. Uh, like, and what's bad, I don't know how I'm going to do, or what I'm going to do with this, but when I was actually cutting this off, I was not thinking, oh, that's going to be a cool art piece. It wasn't until I saw the actual, I don't even know if you can make it out. It wasn't until I saw the actual color of the wood um, when I got it apart that I decided I wanted to do something with it. So that was a cut that I was actually, I actually started with trying to get the root apart from the stump so I don't know I might be able to I, I don't know I gotta look at it for a while figure it out uh, so clean up styrofoam fix that fence or finish that fence um, get my 2 by 4 angle cut done for the bottom part of yep Bottom part of the gate. Time out. Hey, why'd you tear stuff up? You know that's not good. I don't want to muzzle you. Hey, I'm talking to you. You look at me. You look at me when I'm talking to you. Don't tear stuff up. Except for your toys. Okay? Seriously. Don't do that. Okay. Alright. Um, talk about tearing stuff up. <laughs> we decided that we do not want carpet. Um, in most of the house. So, we... 
actually pulled back. Oh, get down. No, 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 get down. Down. Just take down. Samantha Ann. Stay down. Good girl. Good girl. Stay down. Yes. So we tore back the carpet in here. And it's not focusing very well. We tore... Okay, I'm back. So we decided to tear back uh, this carpet. We pretty much figured that there was nothing but a concrete slab underneath. Um, but found that someone, whoever, I don't know, actually painted the floor red, which kind of matches, well, it's a little more maroon than what we chose, but, and there's stars all the way around the border. We haven't gotten to the middle yet. I'm hoping it's all just red underneath here, but, um, so a project that we're going to work on once we get, um, everything set in the garden is to tear out carpet in different areas of the house in preparation for, um, a technique, um, that we saw a video on YouTube and the question is from April to all of you is that something that you would want to see would you want to see not necessarily us tearing the carpet out because I mean that's pretty obvious how to tear the carpet out but would you want to see um, the process of the technique that we're gonna do on the floors um, let us know in the comments and if I have to give an explanation as to why we don't want carpet, there's so much dust in Arizona and um, with the dogs bringing in dirt, especially through that doggy door area, it is, uh, I, I don't know, it's just, it's not that it's a lot to clean up, I mean you can vacuum it, yeah, but it just always seems like you don't ever get all the dust up. So, that's the thought process, is to be able to sweep and mop everything versus um, vacuuming daily. So, we'll be sweeping and mopping daily. Alright, let's get back to the um, what I'm going to attempt to complete today portion of this video. So, I need to put that... Uh, 2x4 crossbeam that comes over and meets up with that angle there so that the uh, bottom hinge on the gate can be secured properly. Um, one of the things I got done yesterday is I moved my rock collection out here to this terracotta pot that we didn't have anything in for the moment. Um, so shard seems like it held up just fine overnight and watering. Tomatoes have a beetle on them. Take you off of that. I don't know who you are. Um, yeah, they're small, but they're hanging on. And carrots look really good too. Marigold. Another tomato and two more tomatoes. Looking good. The other thing I wanted to check real quick was over here. Um, let's see what these little seedlings over here look like if they're standing up strong or what. Those three look really healthy. Or four. Looks like we lost one already. I don't even know if you can see that. Probably not. So it looks like we lost one right there. And then the other row looks decent. 
maybe lost that one over on the edge. I don't even know if I can get in close enough to show you that, so. Um, yeah. And this row doesn't look bad. They're a little wilted. Some of them look stronger than others. So we'll see. I know they went into the ground really young. Um, but they look like they're holding up. And then these look pretty weak. So we'll see. And I gotta remember where things are planted before I go walking in this thing. Um, and the Kale. You probably can't even see that. There you go. Some of them look stronger than others. Yep. Some of them look stronger than others, so we'll see how all that oh how all that works out. Okay. The Robbie looks good. They look strong. Oh, it looks like one over here might have taken a hit. One of the purples. Yeah, he's looking pretty sad. But the rest of the line look pretty good. So. Okay. Sorry. Let's check the zucchini looks good, green beans look good, mustard greens still look good, and that bird really likes to dig in that same area over and over and over again. Oh man, dude, I'm gonna fix that. Okay. Um, looks like we have one okra there, still doing okay and holding on. That mustard green is doing really well. This one on the other hand is not. So, we'll see. This is an unwanted weed. There we go. All right. Let's check the potatoes real quick. Actually, while we're here, we'll just step right over here. Acorn squash is looking healthy. Um, zucchini looking good again. Yellow squash looking good again. This Hubbard squash I think is gone. I think we lost him. Yep. He's done. Uh, the green beans looking good. And the cucumber that was there, April tried to hold it up so that the water wouldn't get to it and it broke. So that's gone. Um, and we lost this zucchini too. Well, yeah, he's gone. Which is sad because those are actually flower pods. Like it was going to flower and then completely died back. So, I believe this is a cucumber as well. At this point, after looking at the uh, leaves of that other one down the line that we lost. Butternut squash. I think I might need to back off on the watering because the leaves are all starting to look really yellow. Um, which is sad because I watered last night and then we could possibly get thunder showers uh, today and tomorrow. So... Gotta get out here and get stuff done before it rains. Um, 
Of course, the lettuces still aren't up yet, and the horseradish hasn't done anything yet either. I think it's only been three days, maybe four, on the lettuces. Don't put that in here, please. Thank you. And these guys are loving life. Loving life. Even that little one is coming. Coming up. Doing things. Doing stuff. Cooper, please don't do that. All right. I think that is actually it for this morning. I'm going to get to work. And we've got our weekly um, hangout time with George tomorrow for got so um, I don't know that we'll be posting anything tomorrow we'll see um, decided I'm gonna make some homemade pizza so got that to do tomorrow got some cooking gotta make some bread too so, all right, guys, enough for now. Much love from southeastern Arizona and Cooper. Cooper Anderson. <laughs> You're a good guy. All right, y'all. We'll talk to you soon. Much love. Bye.
Good afternoon, everyone. Just a quick uh, update to end the day. I got the bottom board into the uh, gate. I'm not sure how much of the video was captured on that. I haven't edited yet, um, but I know that I lost battery power out here, so you may not have seen all the frustration that went into that. Um, and you may have. I don't know. We'll find out. But I got it in there, and the bottom hinge is now secured, so that's good. Um, I also got the small little pieces of wire attached to the fence to hold the little fence up against the big fence so Sam cannot dig our plants out yes I put the um, tomato cages over the tomatoes in the bed today I know it seems redundant at this point, but the purpose today is in case we get rain. Um, like I showed before, there's no gutter on the back of the house anywhere. So when it does rain, this bed gets just hammered. And if I have to come out here and put up a tarp or, um, I don't know, April was suggesting the shade cloth. I don't know if that's going to keep them from getting flooded or not, so. But that's the idea behind that. Um, it is very cloudy. It's beautiful sky, though. It doesn't look like uh, thunder thunderstorms or thunder showers to me. But we'll see. Kind of hope it does. I really want the mulch to get uh, hammered with rain. I really do. So, uh, that's about it. I, oh, I ended up going over to George's and getting um, a burn barrel, a small metal barrel from him that I can burn in. So, um, gotta go over to his place and pick up some of the dead wood that's laying around in his yard and I'm gonna burn all that for the compost soon. I gotta talk to the fire department still, so I don't wanna burn until I know what code is. Um, and then inside April got a third of the carpet rolled up and it's in the trunk. And I'm going to come in here in a little bit and roll up the rest. And get it out of the house and get it into the trunk so I can take it over to the dump. So. That's it. You got anything to add, Cooper? You got anything to say? No? What about Happy Mother's Day to everyone? Yeah? Happy Mother's Day. To all you mothers. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I hope you have a good uh, Sunday. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if we'll post tomorrow at all. Um, maybe. We'll see. But until next time, from Cooper and myself, April and Sam as well, happy Mother's Day. Much love to you all. Peace out.